shortage of intensity in this series. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Moscow's got the puck. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Shoots it. Well, this is a primetime clinic on how to own the puck. I mean, they're managing it, and they are playing with it at will in the offensive zone. And scores! And just like that, we've got our first of the game. Pounder didn't even have her broadcast headset on. I was just putting it on, James. That was incredibly fast, and the coach couldn't have drawn it up any quicker. They say, hey, let's get off to a good start. I'd say they just did. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. The checkers are on the board quickly in this one, and a nice start here, the way that they've been moving the puck around. Well, a really great start for them, James. It's all about getting everyone into the game, establishing some pressure, and finding a way to get on the board. They do just that. Now they've established a 1-0 lead. It's about holding it and pushing for more now. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. yaroslavl has got it in the offensive zone. The coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical faceoff. Anytime you've got your opponent on their score, they tie it up, and we are back to even. Now working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. how difficult this save is to make, James. He just wires it, stick side, top shelf. Carry it along the wall. Quick feed to Raffle. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Shot! Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Moscow's got it in their own zone. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. Well, this is just a lack of discipline and emotional control. You can see his frustration. He extends the arms, and he gets a cross-checking call. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he feeds it now to Nesterov. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Great defensive effort with the stick. Whistle blown, stopping the play. And Tronov's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. And with that call by the officials, it's a long five-on-three set to begin. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five-on-three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, you still have the man advantage. And he denied him there. Here's a chance in front. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. He's really turned it up a notch now. Picked up along the boards. Oh, that's blocked. Here's a shot. <laughs> Scores. And they've gone in front thanks to the power play goal. Well, it's all about manipulating the that's what they did so well to take advantage of that opportunity. I absolutely love this goal, James, because it's the attention to detail, eyes on the prize, just showing how dialed in you are to be able to have that hand-eye coordination and put that puck in the net.
Moscow's gone up by one here in this opening frame, but there's a lot of game to go here. Yeah, and I always feel like those next few shifts are critical because you know your opponent, they're either going to respond or they're not. If they don't respond and you're on your toes, you push them back and you look for a second. Yaroslav is on the attack. Oh, the ref didn't like that whack. Here we go, goaltenders at the bench. They got the extra attack around with the delay penalty. Stop that one. Oh, the bench gets such a boost when he scores, so that's such a timely stop by the goaltender. Doesn't allow any energy to be created. Well, it's not good timing to take this penalty, James, late in the frame and a close game at that, but they just got to get to the intermission and then they can reset. Yaroslav will send in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on them. And he makes the save on that play. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to battle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Across the line, along the left wall. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Scores! And look at that wave. Hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Well, he can make the saves, James, but what's more impressive to me is the way he can control the puck. He hardly ever gives up rebounds, and he really has a way to control them. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Yaroslavos won the opening draw, and their power play rolls on. Likachev's got it against the boards. Can't get it to go. Denies the shooter on that play. Gets it out of his own end. Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity, and really, timing is everything. So they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the board. Denies it with the power. Score! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Uh, you can just see the infectious energy that Coast wrote this entire lineup when he scores. That's a true testament to his leadership and what he means to this group. Moscow's extended the lead to two here in the second. And I think they need to continue to play desperate. Don't sit back. There's a lot of runway left. Continue to take control of the game. Kamenev's won the draw at center. Moscow's got possession here in the neutral zone. Puts it on net, and he makes the save. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Well, that's gonna be an interference call and it's a deserved one. You can't impede the forward progress of your opponent and that's what happens here. Yaroslavl's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Past the halfway mark of this period, Moscow's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Delayed penalty looming. Now a quick pass to Chekovic. Too much traffic in the lane. There's the whistle. 
whistle, and here's the call. Well, the game is played at such fast rate that sometimes you want to slow your opponent down, but if you take too much ice, it's going to be an interference call. Yaroslavl's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. Five on three, you know your opponent has big bodies with long sticks in the middle of the ice. You have to find a way to move them. How do you do that? You either shoot the puck or you move it. Takes the pass. And he comes up with a stop there. Yaroslavl's got the puck against the boards. Fires away. Turns it away. Great read with the stick. Fires it. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Receives the pass. Handles the puck at the point. And he rings the post. Yaroslav scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Yaroslavl's got one back here late in period number two. Now, can they even things up? They need to get the equalizer, and the best way to do it is stay connected as a five-player unit. They did real well in that scenario, in that last sequence, to get that goal. They'll need to continue where they left off. Yaroslavl's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Yaroslavl's got the puck along the wall. With the stop. Scores! At the buzzer, and they get one! Well, coaches always say the first minute and the last minute of every period are critical. Well, now they've got momentum heading into the next frame. they got to carry it forward. Well, I like the effort and intangibles to their game tonight, James. I mean, it has been an uphill battle as they found themselves down in this game. But they continue to battle to chip away. They were urgent on the puck, and now they find themselves getting the equalizer. Yaroslavl's offensive pressure has resulted in an equalizer here tonight. As an athlete, you always know the end of the period is critical time, and you want to maintain pressure, and you want to gain momentum heading into the third. That goal did just that. Moscow's won the draw in the neutral zone. Officials are set. Third period action is coming up. And we are underway here in the third. Still evened up. Will we see that go-ahead goal here? Quick feed to Trevovich. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Handles it along the blue line. Hammers it on net. Yaroslavl's got a hold of the puck now. Driving right to the front. Stars! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. Having another look at it on the replay, we can see that he got a piece of it, but just not enough, and it squeaks through to the net. Yaroslavl's on their way to victory if they can hold down this lead through the rest of the third. Well, it's all about game management, but they can't just sit back and hold on. Otherwise, their opponent, they will look to attack and they will take advantage. Put them back on their heels. Be in the offensive zone where they can't get an opportunity to attack you. Moscow's moving it along the wing. Handles the pass. Gives them nothing in front. 
Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great Scores! Perfectly positioned to bury the rebound. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Moscow's not messing around. Look at that effort in the offensive zone, and as a result, we're tied up. Well, that's been their playground today, but they just haven't been able to convert until now where they get the equalizer. You can see the opportunities that they've had, and finally, they take advantage. Poked away in the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Hard blast. Makes the save. Taken by Chekovic. Long jam in front. That's broken up. They're all over the puck here, James. I mean, their opponent, they don't even have time to breathe. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. And that pass is intercepted. And there's a whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much-needed stoppage. He needs a rest. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. to that puck. I was on display. Furriar's going off to the box for two minutes. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. And now it's grabbed by Kamenev. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. Slides the puck down low. Redirected shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Center field. when the time and clock is ticking down and you have to have a sense of urgency and they had just that. They score the goal ahead goal and you can see how excited they are. They'll have to keep their emotions in check. They need to close this one out. Yaroslavl's got to start to recognize a sense of urgency here. They continue to trail late in the third and have had plenty of chances but can't finish. Moscow's won it. Here's a short pass to Abramov. Sends the feet in front. And that's stopped. Passes it in front. He scores! What a goal! Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen. And the goalie drops to the butterfly position really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. And they win that neutral zone draw. Moves it quickly over to Alexiev. Shoot it! it! And that one goes up and over. And we are all over with this one tonight. A 3-1 series lead, and they can close it out with one more win after this performance tonight. Well, yeah, I mean, they played so well all series long, but that last game, I mean, that was a gift to find a way to have that devastating blow to their opponent, who are now crushed in terms of emotionally. So they have to take advantage of that, and right at the onset of that next game, they got to be hard on the puck, and they got to close it out and finish it off while they're down. Well, the game might be done, but these playoffs...